Hello, this is Bryant Myers. Welcome to another episode of Debunking Flat Earth. In this video, we're going to take a short little journey with a U-2 pilot at 70,000 feet, and we're going to show you how to see the Earth's curvature, which is very clear at this altitude. And we're also going to see how flat earthers deceive people with the sort of high altitude balloon, which makes it look like the Earth is a flat horizon. And you know, as you can see right here, you can look at how this image is kind of going up and down. But when it gets really centered, and here's the key, like right now, the center of the frame of the, of the camera is centered on the horizon. And when you do that, you get the true curvature, which is being shown right here. Now, oh, it's going a little bit above and below. So when it goes below the horizon, the curvature can be exaggerated upwards. And when it goes above the horizon, it can be exaggerated downwards to kind of a concave. Of course, we know the Earth is not concave. So the curvature, and even, here's the thing, even with a fisheye lens, if your frame is centered on the horizon, even if the curvature is exaggerated, there is curvature, meaning if the Earth really was flat, even with the fisheye lens, if the camera was actually centered on the horizon, the center of the frame, it would still be flat. Oh, so you can, now you can see the concavity. So see right now? Now the horizon looks like it's a little bit concave because the center of the camera is above the horizon. And that gives, and see when you, find, when you get the right spot, here's what, here's what flat earthers do. They cherry pick the spots when the, when the frame is just enough above the horizon to make it look flat. But that's deception. That is not really what the earth looks like at this altitude. This pilot now is looking out with his own eyes and seeing the earth's curvature. So what's the problem here? Why do flat earthers have a hard time understanding curvature? The problem is flat earthers don't seem to understand how big the Earth is. The Earth is 8,000 miles in diameter, and this image on the left will show you just how, how little water is actually on a real scale model of the globe. When I say real scale, I mean you can see the mountain ranges. Everything is really smooth. Even Mount Everest is hardly a little bump. Because again, Mount Everest is like what, six miles, and that's only, that's less than one one thousandth of the diameter of the Earth. Now, flat earthers tend to think that the Earth is something like this image on the right, and where it looks like there'd be a lot more ocean than there really is, and it's just, it's not understanding that the Earth is a lot bigger than that. So because it's so big, the curvature is very subtle. There's a really good paper by David Lynch who interviewed many pilots and high-altitude U-2 flyers and Concorde jet pilots. You know, the Concorde jet went to 60,000 feet. And he did a very careful analysis, and I'm going to provide a link in the description of this video. And he showed you precisely how to find the curvature, and based on his very um, careful research, he found that you really have to be at about 60,000 feet elevation to significantly see the curvature. Gutierrez, who actually was someone that interviewed many pilots and did a lot of careful interviews with people that spent a lot of time at high elevations, whether they were Concorde pilots, SR-71 jets, U-2 bombers, um, you know, these, these planes fly at very high altitude. And he found that there was definitely confirmation that these pilots could see the curvature very clearly. Now, commercial pilots, it's not always the case at 35,000 feet. The curvature is just so so negligible there, but Concorde jets, people that used to fly Concorde, you know, which went from New York to, to London in three hours because it flew upwards to 1600 miles an hour and it went high altitude though. And so people could see the curve in these Concorde flights, but Concorde, based on the Air France crash in 2001, I believe it was, the, co the company went out of business by 2003 because people were afraid to fly on Concorde even though it was debris on the runway that caused the engine to explode. But still, these type of jets are coming back now. Boom is a company that's going to be launching, once again, high altitude supersonic jets. And there are many major airlines that are picking up these new Boom airplanes. So I tell people, Boom is going to be the doom for flat earthers because people are going to be able to very visually see the curvature from this altitude of 60,000 feet. So not only that, the Virgin Galactic flights are going to take people up to much higher elevations even yet, where the Earth's curvature is just undeniable. In fact, there's a GoFundMe to send a flat Earther on one of these Virgin Galactic flights. 
So where do flat earthers go wrong in images like this? Well, as I explained earlier, and we're going to look at this in some more detail, the center of the frame is above the horizons. That's going to make the horizon look more concave than it really is, which basically takes away the curvature. So this really drives the point home visually. It's real simple. Even if you're using a fisheye lens, a straight line will remain straight if it crosses the image's center. And we can use this attribute to determine if a line is straight in reality. So here's how you get the fakery. You can see here in this, um, this bottom left image. So the horizon here looks flat because the distortion negates the curvature. Flat earthers cherry pick scenes like this. Okay, and then they, then they have these dramatic memes that make it look like the Earth is flat. Now, of course, they're not, they know better than to take an image like this because they know that it's, it's going to be obviously distortion. But over here, it looks pretty convincing that the Earth is flat, right? So we can use, like Walter Bislin's um, horizon estimator, like I did in one of my other videos, and we can estimate based on the elevation or the altitude of, say, the balloon or the high-altitude jet and... The, the, the diameter of the Earth, we can, we can plug in those parameters and see what the curvature in our model should look like without barrel distortion, and lo and behold, it fits. The actual horizon is curved, and it matches expectations. So again, that's why I did that video early on, to show that models of our spherical Earth actually match reality very precisely when the images are taken carefully. So again, just to drive this point home a little further, I took this screenshot of that video with the U2 at 70,000 feet and I found and you can see with the green lines here that the, that the horizon is dead center in the frame so again when it's dead center fisheye lens or not it doesn't matter if there's curvature there's curvature if the earth was flat in this image again fisheye lens or not it would remain flat and people that don't understand that simply do not understand perspective. They don't understand photography. And they don't understand why straight lines will stay straight in the middle of either vertically or horizontally of the frame. Okay, I just want to conclude with this because flat earthers love to use this with say Virgin Galactic or, or Concord Jet or high altitude pilots. They like to say that the window distorts the shape of the earth. But here's the thing. You can test this at ground level, meaning if you look out the window when you're on the ground, you can easily confirm that if known straight lines will still appear straight through the window. And lo and behold, they almost always do. And if you just do this little test, say in the, if you're able to fly on a coming Virgin Galactic or boom, if you can just look when you're on the ground at something that's straight and it's, and it's straight through the window, there's not gonna be distortion when you're up in space. Again, this is a simple test that debunks all those window arguments that flat earthers have. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please take this to heart because so many flat earthers love to show these cherry-picked images of the earth at high altitude balloons that make it look flat when in reality it's not. The truth is, the earth is curved and when you use correct photography and center the horizon on the center of the camera frame, the image, you'll always see the curvature at high altitude if you're high enough. So thanks for watching. Please do like this video, share it, and subscribe to my channel. I have many more videos coming.